Copper prices are heading for their steepest quarterly decline since the financial crisis, and that will no doubt be on the agenda when commodities brokers from the around the world gather in London later. London Metals Week, the industry's largest get-together, gets underway today. Will investors keep faith in commodities as recover falters and trading restrictions loom? Well, despite the volatility, there's also a battle underway to buy the London Metal Exchange itself, and Olivia Stearns joins us for that. Olivia, the LME says it's heard from more than 10 potential bidders. Why all this interest? Well, and prices might be down today, but basically we've seen this incredible bull run in commodities, right? Over the past decade, metal prices are up more than threefold over the past 10 years, and the bulk of that volume, it's going through the London Metals Exchange. Their business is up 20% this year by volume. They're on track to do about 12 to $13 trillion, Owen. That's almost the size of the NASDAQ. That's several times bigger than the money that gets traded on the London Stock Exchange. We spoke to the CEO, Martin Abbott, last week, and he said it doesn't matter which way prices move, the LME is still primed to make money. It doesn't matter whether they're high or they're low. What drives our volumes is movement in prices because people take protection against the risk of movement and also, of course, speculators and funds come in to take advantage of movement. So I don't think that the absolute level matters and I don't believe that we will see any shortage of movement. And the other thing that's got investors excited right now is that there's been talk that the LME might actually set up a clearinghouse of its own. And, of course, that could significantly boost revenue. Okay, so it's the start of LME week. Interesting to see what exactly they'll be talking about. I heard somebody say it's the start of the mating season. Yes, it's the start of the mating season. You know, the metals guys, they, they like to party. Um, it's, it's a big event, lots of seminars. Tomorrow night is a big dinner. Everybody's going to be talking about this deal. You know, the FT had a story this morning about how Goldman Sachs could actually be the biggest winner of a potential share. They've been building up their stake. You know, these shares, they rarely get traded. The last time shares of the Elmia were actually sold was actually the Lehman stake when it had to be liquidated. The other thing on everybody's mind is copper prices. Mm -hmm. You heard from your guest earlier today. He said it's beginning to feel like 2008. Copper prices are off almost 24% since their highs this year. So a lot of things to see. Um, we'll be checking out mating season. Okay, Olivia. <laughs> Thanks a lot.